All right, what's up? This is a review of the Mamba Mentality, How I Play by Kobe Bryant. Kobe definitely had that prepared attitude and the dedication to be the best, the talent and the drive. Found out that his reading upped his game, since he considered reading is a fundamental. Now, Black Mamba, his nickname is a snake. It's also a character from Kill Bill, an alter ego. In other words, a slick way to say he's an assassin on the court or that he's snaking the chain. Now, what is Mamba mentality? The mindset isn't about seeking a result. It's more about the process of getting to that result. It's about the journey and the approach. It's a way of life. I do think that it's important in all endeavors to have that mentality. And this is his own style. It might be okay to implement the game, the art of the con, to con yourself into an alter ego, all to increase the belief that I can do spirit. Now, here are some quick tips. He didn't really use music. Most basketball players put on those headphones to play music. Maybe he did a little, but he just wanted to be aware, quiet. He was somewhat of a loner. I guess that's because of being out in Italy, you're a little different. He practiced by himself. He would rather concentrate on the moment in the zone, practice and train. Wake up, smile, and he used both hands. If one was weak, use the other. I mean, look how Steph Curry dribbles. And it's important to wake up early. Sometimes it'll be just him and the arena. It calms stillness before everybody else. He asked a ton of questions and instead of always talking over everybody, he would listen. And that's an act of humility. Be curious, just do it. Now he had to mention his little Nike slogan, quick naps, and he iced his body a lot and he would read while doing this. He wasn't dumb. Adapt, he had a bad ankle and he did tap dancing to strengthen. So there's always a way. He fractured his index finger and he adapt by switching his shooting style to get it done. Don't just give up. Make it work in some weird way. It might not be as good, but we'll see. Here's some unique info about Kobe. He was a student of the game. He tried to learn everything. He studied the ref handbook. He had leadership troubles, but that was just his little fiery spirit. He shared his attitude of being challenging and annoying at the same time to his teammates and the people. He didn't want to be easy on you. He believed in extra work. He started early, put in the extra workouts, more time and extra time to do more training, hence more work. He got intel on his competitors, the extra step to diagnose weaknesses. Here's some aspects about Kobe you probably didn't know. Shane Battery, a defensive basketball player, played mind games. He would tell people he couldn't guard Kobe, but talk shit to him, talk shit close up and detuned. And he would disqualify himself to the public. So Shane's way of psyching himself out as well as psyching Kobe out of his game, or trying to. Because we know Shane Battier was good at defense. He spoke Spanish. He upped the gain of Nike by having mid-top shoes. He would constantly self-assess and diagnose weaknesses. And he would ask a ton of questions to get answers. It's a great form of effort. Here's some of the mentors and relationships he had. He had a good relationship with Paul Gasol, soccer players, and even Jordan and LeBron. He got feedback from Jordan. There's a few scenes, if you can see that, just YouTube it. Phil Jackson and Paul Gasol wrote the four to this book. They're obviously on his side. Kareem, Magic, Bill Russell, Jerry West, Tex Winter helped him out. And he had simple personalized relationships with his trainers. Judy Seto, his whole career, the same physical therapist trainer. His tape trainer as well. Keep them if they're good. He also knew Muhammad Ali. And also check out the Patrick Bet David interview that I'll link below. In terms of his legacy, we love to watch him slam dunk when he was cocky and young as a rookie. Came out of nowhere. You're out of high school. Who does that? Him and LeBron. He was cocky, funny. He had an 81-point game. His last game, he scored 60. It's kind of questionable how that was scored. He grew the women's game, too, as well, the WNBA. WNBA will probably hit monetary struggles. No Kobe, no Gianna, unfortunately. And in his past, remember that humility that no one is above living above flying helicopters and the excess, nature finds a way. His Achilles tear and his triumph above it to come back, yelling at teammates, as well as his last game of 60 point highlights. Now here's my take is I had his rookie card given to me as a gift back when he was young. So I knew about this guy right away. He was probably one of my favorite players early on because I knew I could recognize his talent and everybody knew his talent. We could see it right away. We knew he was a star, Jordan style and out of high school. And he was a talk of the town, especially his rookie year. He had positive thoughts, a good smile, worker, curiosity to read. 
He had the meditative process, ambidextrous. He could write with both hands. He believed in physical contact, observed everyone and everything. Kobe had a curiosity that some are just born with, and he attacked and penetrated with that. And it is important to be down to earth, the overuse of a helicopter to be at certain places at certain times. Most of us have to deal with the time and the nature. You just can't have it all, it's nature's way. Seeing the fog, it's time to chill. People make mistakes as well, being a rock climber, you have to know when to stop as well as risk management. He had that get in the zone, flow, quiet meditation. Also, here's a picture of that card I have. I've had it since I was really young. I still have it. And cards have gone up in super value, but I'm still gonna keep it. I, it has a sentimental value with me. You can get up early, just like I did with surfing. And my opinion on him being a ball hog was really negative early on. He led the team with that ball hogness. But by example, the intensity and hard work, you gotta give him a break, he gets it done. And his yelling at teammates, it was a turn off to play with. I just wouldn't wanna play with him, but you still want to because you gotta recognize the game, the work, and the smile. And all these tips in this book were to help, not just future athletes, but people in general. So take the Mamba mentality and stride and learn. The way I play, play the game.